of the little Sahaba, and it's a secret. It was a beautiful sunny day. Little Sahaba Anas was playing with his friends outside. Prophet Muhammad came next to those kids, and he said, "Salam alaykum to everyone." He used to greet kids always. Kids said, "Alaykum salam." And Prophet Muhammad called Anas. After he told him something, Anas stopped playing and went somewhere. Prophet Muhammad gave him a task, but Anas didn't tell anyone where he went because that was a secret. That night, Anas came home a little late. His mom asked, "Anas, where have you been?" Anas said, "Prophet Muhammad gave me a task to finish. That's why I was late." His mom said, "Hmm, I'm really curious now. What type of task was it?" Anas had never hidden anything from his mom. Whenever someone bothered him, he always talked to his mom first. But he didn't say what Prophet Muhammad's secret task was. He said, "I can't say, Mom, because it's a secret." His mom was glad with Anas's response. She said, "Good job, Anas. Don't ever tell a secret to anyone." Anas said, "I won't tell mom, never ever." And he never ever told a secret to anyone, even to his mom. Love all around. In the early morning light, before the day begins, we share suhoor, the silence within. So calm, so bright, with laughter and whispers in the pre-dawn haze, preparing for the fast in the Ramadan days. Ramadan day, oh Ramadan, Ramadan. A time to reflect, to grow, and bond. From sunrise to sunset, we feel the peace in the rays of Ramadan. Our spirits release. Ooh yeah, in the knees embrace as the day ends. Gathered for iftar with family and friends, so warm, so bright. Breaking our fast with dates and water in hand. Grateful hearts together we stand. We stand. Oh, Ramadan, Ramadan. Moments so precious we cherish and plan. As the moon oversees, we feel its embrace. Rays of Ramadan filling our space. As the last days of Ramadan come to close, our hearts are full with love. It flows. It flows. Eyes joy on the horizon, a festive cheer until next Ramadan. We hold these days dear, so dear. Oh, Ramadan, Ramadan. In each fasting day, our faith grows strong. Together we stand in hope and in prayer. Rays of Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. In each fasting day, our faith grows strong. Together we stand in hope and in prayer. Rays of Ramadan, a bond we all share. Share we dare as the crescent moon of Ramadan gently fades. We welcome light with hearts full of joy and praise. So bright, carrying the lessons and love in our heart. Until the next Ramadan, we'll hold these memories as a part.
little Sahaba, the beautiful smell. Jabi's dad used to take him to Prophet Muhammad very often. Jabi loved Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salam, and Prophet Muhammad loved Jabi. One day, Prophet Muhammad came across some kids playing outside. Jabir was one of them. Prophet Muhammad said, Salam alaikum to the kids. He talked with every single one of them. While Prophet Muhammad was talking with the other kids, Jabir was surprised and stunned by a beautiful smell that covers the whole place. He looked around but couldn't figure out where that beautiful smell was coming from. It was Jabir's turn to talk with Prophet Muhammad. Finally, he found out where that beautiful smell was coming from. It was coming from Rasulullah's hands. His hands were smelling as if he placed them in a bucket full of roses. Jabi never forgot that smell for the rest of his life. Whenever he smells roses, he remembered Prophet Muhammad. Stories of the Little Sahaba, Zayd Sleep Prayer. Zayd was one of the Little Sahaba. He loved Rasulullah and Rasulullah loved Zayd. Zayd had a problem. He couldn't sleep. When it's night time, he wasn't able to sleep at all. However, Everyone else was sleeping during night time. Even birds on trees, sheep in farms, little cats cuddling their moms were sleeping, but Zaid was still awake. He was counting the stars. There are so many stars in the sky, he thought, but counting stars was not working, and Zaid was tired of this. One day, Zayd went to see Prophet Muhammad salam, to figure out his sleeping problem. Because whoever needed help would see Prophet Muhammad salam. Rasulullah taught him the following prayer. O oh Allah, you are the one who moves the stars. You are the one who creates silent skies. Give my eyes sleep and make my nights peaceful. Zayd recited that prayer every night, and he always had beautiful sleeping nights from the day on. Shy colors bright in the sea, 
All love's wonders for you and me All love's animals let's explore From the sky to the ocean floor Learning and playing every day In all love's world we laugh and play Thank you all love for what we see Animals living wild and free Bless them all and help us care For your creatures Everywhere. Colors bright in the sea Allah's wonders for you and me Allah's animals let's explore From the sky to the ocean floor Learning and playing every day In Allah's world we laugh and play Allah's animals let's explore from the sky to the ocean floor Learning and playing every day In all lost world we laugh and play Thank you Allah for what we see Animals living wild and free Bless them all and help us care For your creatures everywhere of the little Sahaba, Umair's baby bird. Umair had a baby bird. Umair loved his baby bird. One day, the bird died, and Umair was so sad. But something surprising happened. Just during those days, Rasulullah visited Umair's house. And he saw Umair look sad. He asked what happened to Umair. Umair's parents talked about the baby bird. Then Rasulullah called Umair and asked what happened. He talked with Umair with love and care. Rasulullah was the most kind and caring person of all. Umair felt so much better after talking with Rasulullah He started smiling again because he knew that his bird was going to fly in Jannah. We show our love to Allah who watches from above Obedience in every way We follow Him and we obey Salah, Salah, let's all pray Five times each and every day It brings us peace and makes us strong Join us now, come sing along A connection deep and true In Salah, we feel it too Talking to Allah so near His guidance and His love we hear This makes us feel whole Faith and taqwa in our hearts Salah gives us a perfect start Salah, Salah, let's all pray Five times each and every day It brings us peace and makes us strong Join us now, come sing along In the peace and calm we find Tranquility within our mind Discipline and routine too Salah helps in all we do Salah, Salah, let's all pray Join us now, come sing along Mindfulness 
green in every row Brotherhood and love we show Salah, salah, let's all pray Five times each and every day It brings us peace and makes us strong Join us now, come sing along Community, stand as one In the mosque with everyone Equality in every row Brotherhood and love we show Salah, salah, let's all pray to come motivates us everyone avoiding wrong doing right salah shines a guiding light salah salah let's all pray five times each and every day it brings us peace and makes us strong join us now come sing along personal growth in every way patience gratitude each day humility and positive mind in salah true strength we find salah salah Let's all pray five times each and every day It brings us peace and makes us strong Join us now, come sing along Elif, ba, ta, ta, jim, ha, kh, dal, dal, ra, ta, sin, shun, sot, ta, tu, bu, ayn, ghayn, fa, qaf, kaf, lam, mim, nun, ha, wa, au, ya. Elif, ba, ta, ta, jim, ha, kh, dal, dal, ra, ta, sin, shun, sot, ta, tu, เธออันไหนแต่กับเคฟลามิมนุนเฮวเอลเอลิฟเบตาเธอจึงหาเธอดาวดาราเธอสิ้นชุนสัตว์ตกเธออันไหนแต่กับเคฟลามิมนุน Alif ba ta ta jing ha khu Dal dal ra ta sin shum sa ta Ta ya ayn goin fa kaf kaf Lam mim nun ha wa au ya Alif ba ta ta jing ha khu Dal dal ra ta sin shum sa ta Ta ya ayn goin fa kaf kaf Lam mim nun ha wa au ya Alif ba ta ta jing ha khu Dal dal ra ta sin shum sa ta Ta ya ayn goin fa kaf kaf Lam mim nun ha wa au ya Wake up in the morning feeling bright and new I'm doing I'm grateful for what I've been through Every day's a blessing I can't deny I'm doing life safe with a smile Oh yeah, I'm doing life Thank you for this day I'm doing life grateful Moment I wake to the stars shine above. I'm doing life, I feel good now. Oh yeah, step out of the house under the sky so blue. I'm doing life for the world so true. With every step in the sun, 
long ago. Alhamdulillah, for the beauty that I know. Ooh yeah, Alhamdulillah. Thank you for the light. Alhamdulillah, for the day so bright. From the morning sun to the peaceful dove. Alhamdulillah. Let's learn first to Shahada. What's that mean? It means no God but Allah, and Muhammad is Rasulullah. Second is Salat, we pray five times each and every day. Morning, noon, and afternoon, evening and night, under the moon. Third is the cat, we love. 
love to share Helping others, showing we care Giving to those who need it most This is the way we can boast For this song, fast in time In Ramadan we all shine From dawn to dusk we fast and pray Growing stronger every day Fifth is Hajj, a journey grand To Mecca's holy, sacred land Once in a lifetime, if we can Join in together, woman and man Five pillars of Islam, let's remember Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj With these pillars we stand tall In our hearts they bless us all Love to share, helping others, showing we care, giving to those who need it most. This is the way we can boast. For this song, fast in time, in Ramadan we all shine. From dawn to dusk we fast and pray, growing stronger every day. Fifth is Hajj, a journey grand to Mecca's holy, sacred land. Once in a lifetime, if we can, join in together, woman and man. Five pillars of Islam, let's remember. Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj. Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj. With these pillars, we sit tall. In our hearts, they bless us all. Five pillars of Islam, let's remember. Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj. Shahada, Salat, Zakat, Salam, and Hajj. Each night before the boy went to bed, he would light the fire. He would squeeze beside grandma on her favorite chair. The house would be quiet, except for the turning of a page and the ticking of a clock. And grandma would show the boy her photographs. Grandma had been an architect. She made the tallest skyscrapers, the most beautiful palaces and museums and libraries bigger than towns. But they would be nothing, she said, compared to the house she would build for the boy. The house would sit on the hill that lay on the horizon, over the city and beyond the sea. When will we move there, Grandma? The boy would ask. Grandma would just nod her head and say, Soon. But Grandma was getting old, too old to make houses. Soon she was too old to make dinner. And then she was too old to climb the stairs. One day she was too old to sit up in bed. And by the time the boy came home, she was gone. Without grandma, the house was empty. It was just rooms. But the boy had an idea. He made his plans and he set to work. The boy worked through wind and snow and rain. And when the work was done, the boy looked into the eyes he had built himself and said, Grandma, wake up! All at once, it was as if the stars leaped closer. With one swipe of her giant hands, Grandma grabbed the boy, raising him high above the roof tiles on her head. She was alive! Grandma? The boy gasped. Is it really you? Without warning, Grandma leapt into the air. She cleared six gardens in a single bound. Stop! The boy cried. Where are you taking me? They flew at a sprint over moonlit fields, leaping over hedges, scattering the hairs. The boy's lungs chopped with the cold night air, and his ears rang with the clang of grandma's great metal feet on the stony ground. Where are you taking me? He cried again. 
they came to the sea. It stretched out before them, still as a sheep. Grandma plowed into the waves. For hours, they walked the great white ocean. Mackerel circled round Grandma's steel shoulders. Clouds of ocean sand billowed beneath her with every step. Starfish caked her metal ribs like the hull of a sunken ship. Soon, a city rose out of the water. Grandma flung herself straight onto the rooftops. A forest of street lamps and skyscrapers flew beneath them. Stop! the boy cried. But Grandma ran on until the sounds of the city were lost behind them and there was nothing but the wind on the hills. Where are you taking? The boy began. Then he saw it. On the hill above the city that lay beyond the sea was the house that Grandma had built for him. But the house had never been finished. It was just bricks and glass and girders. A great hole lay in the middle of it. Welcome home, said Grandma. But I can't live here, the boy said. It's only half a house. How will I ever finish it? Grandma smiled. The boy could suddenly see the stars through the windows of her eyes. You already did, she whispered. You already did.